If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon for more videos. Peace out, guys. Hey, guys. That Mike Gamer back here for another video, guys. Today, I decided to do a challenge video. This is actually going to be no running back challenge with Vic. So, pretty much, in order for me to complete this challenge, I am not allowed to give the ball to my running back. Zeke Elliott is not allowed to touch the ball when it comes to any kind of rush attempt. Meaning I have to run the ball with 94 overall Michael Vick. With that in mind, this is going to be a difficult challenge for the obvious reasons. Um, whenever I get into short yard situations where obviously my opponent is going to be blitzing, having a lot of people in the box, running Vick will not be as, you know, available as he would be in big, you know, open yard situations like this. Nonetheless, though, again, because of this challenge, I am not allowed to give it to my running back. So any run I do, I will have to run it. Now, if you watch my videos, you might say, well, that my gamer, that's not an issue. You love running your quarterback. That is true, but it's still at the same time going to be difficult because how I like to run my offense, guys, is I'm 80-20 rush run to pass ratio. If you guys have played me before, you know I will give Zeke Elliott the ball 80 times a game if I can and if I can beat you by running it every single play I will the reason why I want my quarterback is because of that same kind of you know thing going on is just like I like to run my running back every play I like to give it to my quarterback and run him because it's the same concept I like to run the ball so nonetheless though you know not being able to feed Zeke is definitely something that throws off my whole game plan but nonetheless I do take a field goal on the first drive and right here, as you can see, my opponent runs the ball for a pretty good chunk of yards. His first play, but I'm able to kind of shut it down the second play. Second down and three here at the 23-yard line. My opponent's going to motion a wide receiver, throw the ball, and he ends up completing it down to my four-yard line. So now first and goal here, and my opponent's going to end up getting sacked right there by Frank Clark. Very, very nice play by uh, Clark there. Right here, though, he ends up throwing interception, and that's actually a new addition to the squad. It is Ryan Kerrigan flashback card. Very, very nice uh, addition to the squad. Kind of funny, I got him for his pass rushing abilities, and he ends up getting interception right there. Again, though, as you can see, if I do want to run the ball, I have to run Michael Vick. Now, if there's any guy I have to run, a 92 speed player is definitely something someone I do want to run. I can, though, throw the ball to Zeke Elliott, as you can see. So, nonetheless, you know, even if I cannot, you know, actually run him, Zeke Elliott will always be a part of my offense no matter what. And that's just a fact with my offense. It's always Zeke Elliott. Now, right there, my kick actually lagged a little bit and ended up missing the field goal. So, kind of ticked me off in a way because that could have gave me a 6 nothing lead. Instead, now it's still in 3 nothing with him having the ball and moving it down the field. Right there, I got so lucky he ran out of bounds. That could have been a free touchdown on that play right there. But as you can see, it doesn't matter because he's going right down the field me yet again. First down 10 here on my 22-yard line, and he's going to run the ball to my hand side. Obviously, gets completely shut down right away, so he goes right back to it, ends up picking up yet another two yards, bringing up third down and seven, where he's going to throw to the left-hand side, possession catch, and get down to my two-yard line. First and goal right here, he's going to run up the middle, end up picking up zero yards, Second and goal, he's going to run right back to the left-hand side. Ends up getting down to about the one-yard line. Eight seconds left. Clock is ticking. He runs the ball to the right-hand side. Ends up not getting in and settling for a field goal, making it 3-3 three to three at halftime. Just like that, coming out of halftime, you're going to see my opponent goes right down the field on me and gets to my 34-yard line, which he possession catches down to about my 10-yard line. First down and 10 here, he's going to run the ball to the right-hand side and almost muscle hamster his way into the end zone, bringing up second down and three where he gets zero yards there. Actually ends up losing a yard. Third down and three here, he ends up throwing it right into coverage and somehow he makes that reception. Uh, flashing forward or going forward to the two-minute warning, pretty much the rest of that in-between part of the game, no one scored on offense, either team, we just kept going back and forth. But third down three here, fourth and four here. The game on the line, if I don't get this game, is over. 
end up picking up the first down and converting it. First down and 10 here. I do end up running Michael Vick to the left-hand side and getting down to about the 15-yard line. Fourth and goal. Game on the line. I throw a dot for a touchdown. Tying the ball game up. Going to overtime where he stopped me four plays in a row. Ends up getting the ball back. Kicking a field goal. Winning the game. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.